Hello and welcome to Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV. And this is another uh, edition of our series of Bring Back Max Power, where we'll take a look at several editions of Max Power magazine in the lead up to the Max Power reunion show in July 2023. For the month of December and into the new year, we're going to look at this edition of Revs. Max Power's sister title. So this is the August 2002 edition and on the front cover we have um, a Vauxhall Nova and we also have the model Sammy. Let's have a look at what we can look forward to in this video. So we've got make your car faster, louder, cooler now. Make your own pro ice door builds. Power tested Fiesta exhausts, massive brakes for £200, bag of bargain in car MP3, and fit trick indicator mirrors. And car wise, we have this edition we have an FTO, a Corsa, a Puyo 16 valve, Renault 5 GTT, Escort Turbo, Saxo, a Wide Ass 306, and a GTIR. So without much further ado, let's have a look inside this edition of Revs magazine. And the first thing we're greeted with is a double page spread for Power Zone Motorsport. So you can get performance heads, performance cams, performance brakes, um, super flow exhausts, magnex exhausts, scorpion. Chips, some super chips, steering wheels, bucket seats, and alloys from different manufacturers here as well. So this is the contents page here, and we've got the Revs Babe Squad. A few of the pictures here. And the contents has got cover car is Nova on 19s, Saxo VTR, Rio 6, RS Turbo. And you've got your how to features and tested. And again, Speed Shop, where again we'll take a look at five cars we would possibly pu purchased in 2002. Then we have a double page spread for rip speed at Halford. Okay, so our first feature car is this Vauxhall Nova. And if you've recently seen um, the twin engine Corsa channel, I think it's called. You may have seen this car being pulled out from the garage after being laid up for a few years. You can also follow this car on um, it's Lancey, Lancey's Nova on 19s on Facebook. And you'll probably see this car popping up on the many Max Power um, um, uh, Facebook sites for like Max Power, Bring Back Max Power. Max Power Memories and the like. So this is Steve Proctor's the most radical looking Nova with 19 inch wheels, 16 valve motor, it's a wide ass, it's got TV, DVD, PS1, um, ice fridge and more flips than a f celebrating football star. So why don't we have a wee look at this car in more detail. So there is the TV in the car now. If you have seen the, the video that was on, I think, as I said, I think it was the Twin Engine Corsa uh, YouTube channel. What I'll do is I'll actually link a description of the video 
into the description box below. Um, so if it's not the that name of the channel, then I'll have the correct channel for you. But apparently this little TV would flip out and fit into a shaving bag. Then we've got a down here we've got a Sony stereo D. I remember having a Sony stereo like that in one of my dad's cars. And moving over we've got that light's a bit annoying. We have the car itself. And then we have the inside of the Nova and you can just see the fridge in the passenger footwell compartment. I think this is probably one of the most iconic cover cars I've seen on the magazines and it's one that sort of drew my attention anyway to the car. There's the fridge again, and there's the PS1. It's also got, a, I'm guessing that would be a Nissan Sony GTIR um, one at vent now. So why don't we have a look at the um, tech spec of this car? So engine wise, it's a 1998cc inline 4, cylinder 16 valve, it's got a pipe across Viper, carbon induction kit, polished rocker cover, um, cam cover, stainless steel nuts, bolts, screws and washers, powerful one-off twin exhaust, TAS competition engine mounts. It's got a Helix paddle clutch, F25 speed Astro gearbox, one off drive shafts. Suspension wise, it's got Spax front coilovers, Spax adjustables at rear, uprated bushes all round, fearless front and rear chrome strut braces. Brakes. Uh, at the front, it's got Astro 256mm front discs, calipers and pads, modified rear beam. Astro 16 valve discs, ABS removed, uprated servo and master cylinder. Wheels and tyres are 19 inch Team Dynamics Diablos, rims with Falcon 235-35-19 tyres all round. Bodywork, it's got a modified Evo 5 front bumper with spot lamps, Impreza 22B indicators and carbon inserts, quad conversion headlights and grille with custom carbon fibre mesh. As I mentioned, GTIR bonnet vent with carbon inserts, bonnet louvres, smooth scuttle panel, side repeaters have been removed, door handles, locks and rubbing strips removed. M3 indicator mirrors with door opening buttons, modified wide arch kit including side skirts, smooth to swage lines, chrome filler cap, moved into the A-pillar, modified abyss rear bumper, smooth tailgate, rear wiper and washer jet, removed one off rear spoiler, clearly Clear rear light clusters, a homemade single wiper, engine bay seam welded, spare wheel well removed and blanked with exhaust system, and it's got etched rear windows. In the inside of the car, we have Magnum lever trimmed bucket seats, redesigned colour coded dash with TV and 8 can fridge, GTE digital dash, Momo snap off steering wheel, Momo gear knob and handbrake. Carbon door cards, homemade door pods, door interior handles, exit by exit door pump. Fearless Motorsport 2.5 inch alloy roll cage. Rear seats have been removed. Sabelt 4 point aircraft style harnesses. Genuine TVR alloy wiper and indicator stops. In car entertainment is powered by a Vectra turbo diesel battery. Sony XRC450 head unit with remote and driver's door pod. 5 inch infinity two way front components, PR Ultramet amps, PR 1000 watts, 12 inch SPL times inverted chrome subs, 5.4 inch 
neck vox screen, PS1 neck vox DVD player, and still trimmed in black interior. Now, this is a car I'm hoping will be at the Max Power Reunion show, because I'd really like to see this close up, because this was a car that really caught my attention back in 2002. And even seeing it today, it still just catches your attention. Right, let's move on to our next bit for the magazine. So we've got an advert here for a PlayStation 2. Advertising Gran Turismo. Special edition of Gran Turismo GT Concept. Next up we have an advert for Turtle, War uh, Turtle Wax Extreme Polishing Wax. You'll never use anything else. Then we've got the editor's page. It's uh, Matt Howell was the editor at the time. And police need to wake up. The police have helped set up shows and even sanctioned races. So this is a wee bit about the police that he's written about this month. Then we have a double page spread for Maguire's. And this chap here is the boss of Demon Tweaks, or was at the time. Next up, we have an advert for Sound and Styles Limited, Car Performance Center, specializing in GMAX springs, Coney, IBAC, powerful exhausts, Mongoose, um, Super Sprint, Magnex, Black Diamond and Piper, Fox Alloys, Oz Wheels, BBS, Momo, can, EBC, Brembo, um, Momo and Lockwood accessories, K&N, Piper Cross, I think, Alpine, Audio Kicker. And moving on, we have our favourite thing in the magazine, where you could buy ringtones or phone logos. You could win yourself a Nokia 8210 at the time and dial and date and text fun. And we're going to finish this section on part one, look at how to do a DIY custom door build for £50. How we like Pro Look custom door builds and ultimate sound quality are just one weekend away and at a cost of £50. So they're doing it on a Ford Fiesta, but the same sort of principle will apply to any other car, really. So we're just going to follow their step-by-step -step guide. We've got um, Reverse Babe Squad um, lending a hand here. So let's see what you need to do. So firstly, you'll need to remove the door card so you can begin work on it. So you. Carefully starting at the edges, pull the card and it will unpop the clips. Look out that there may be some fixing screws you need to remove too. Another top tip is they've not mentioned a trim removal tool. You can pick these sort of things up at Halfords and uh, carefully prise away the door card that way as well. So secondly, you'll need to get a Phillips screwdriver and remove the four screws that's Secure the standard speaker. Pull it from its housing, undo any wiring connections and backing rings, and put it where it belongs. As Marty from Mighty Car Mods would say, in the bin. So step three, you're now going to have to work out where your door build is going to go. So Revs have decided they're going to chop away the original speaker grill and place the build at the bottom of the door. So firstly, they're going to have to mark the area they need to remove. Then they're going to cut away the plastic grill area with a hacksaw. Following the lines that you've just drawn, be careful when it comes to the lip as it's quite thin. Smooth any sharp edges on the plastic down with 240 grit sandpaper. Step 5. You now need to make a base for your door build. Lay your tweeter and speaker ring on a sheet of MDF 9-12mm thick. Then draw the shape you want. Next, following the outline, use a jigsaw to cut out the base. 
Number six, get some more MDF and draw around the speaker ring and make a solid mounting ring. Drill a 13mm hole in the centre, then using this as a starting point, cut away the inner circle in the outer. And there's um, Erica from the Babe Squad uh, helping out um, with cutting the MDF with a jigsaw. You're now left with an MDF ring which will sit on top of the MDF base that you cut out in step 5. Use 80 grade sandpaper and rub down the edges of the ring until smooth and perfect. Step 9. To angle your speaker mounting, you will need to provide support to the MDF speaker ring. Start by cutting out a small square of MDF that can sit between the base and the ring. Before you fix it in place, chamfer the edge of the square you have cut on a piece of sandpaper. This will let the square sit flush on the base to provide the support it needs. Number 11. Use a slightly smaller drill bit than your screws and drill in the MDF square that you've made. Before inserting a screw, use a countersink to create a groove. Build more struts using the same method. So step 12, you're going to have to make up the glass fibre and the filler. Step 13, it's glass fibre time. Using the applicator supplied, mix up the glass fibre with the hardener at the correct ratio. It's best to look at the tin to, pro to produce a good consistency. Make sure it's mixed together evenly. Step 14. Scoop up a dollop of glass fibre filler and apply it to the build, filling in any gaps between your speaker ring supports. Leave it to, dr to dry for around an hour before sanding down with 80 grade paper. Slide your tweeter in the hole, then fit the plastic speaker ring that your speaker will sit in. The ring will have holes in it. You'll need to drill some guide holes through them for fixing for the speaker fixing grills. 22. Slide your speaker into the plastic ring. Line up the holes around the speaker with those you've just drilled and use the screwdriver to insert the screws. Pop the grill cover over the speaker when you're done. Step 23. Drill through the back of the door card into the build. Be careful where you drill, you don't want to make any holes that are visible from the front. And insert three or four screws with a screwdriver. If the fit of your door build isn't quite right, don't be afraid to shave bits away from the underside. After all, you can see behind it. If you don't, you'll only be annoyed by your shabby job. The last step is to fit the speaker grill and Hook up any wires you need to the speaker and tweeters. Where you locate the crossover will depend on its size and shape. Refit the door card and refit the plastic door panels and screws. So that's the end of part one of our look at um, the August 2002 edition of Revs magazine in our Bring Back Max Power series. The next part will download in a couple of days time. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe at Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV. And we'll catch you in a future video. Farewell.